His Majesty Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Sakhir Palace the Speaker of Morocco's Parliament, Rashid Al Talibi Al Alami, and his accompanying delegation. Mr. Al Alami conveyed the greeting of His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco and his wishes for the progress and prosperity of Bahrain. His Majesty welcomed the Moroccan Parliament Speaker and asked him to convey his greetings to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco, wishing Morocco progress and prosperity. His Majesty praised the strong brotherly relations between the two countries and the progress witnessed by both countries in various fields. He affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to enhance relations in order to serve the common interests of both countries. His Majesty the King praised the cooperation and exchange of expertise between the legislative authorities of the two countries, hailing the democratic achievements made by Morocco in its parliamentary march. His Majesty noted the importance of such visits, which facilitate the parliamentary and legal expertise in boosting cooperation and coordination at regional and international levels and in serving Arab and Islamic countries. His Majesty held Morocco's support of Bahrain and its role in protecting the issues of Arab and Islamic nations to maintain security, stability and peace in the region. He also expressed pride and appreciation of the role of the Moroccan community in Bahrain and their contributions in the Kingdom's progress. He highlighted Bahrain's parliamentary achievements and said that Bahrain had succeeded in implementing a parliamentary experience and created a sophisticated model for the practice of democracy based on the foundations of law and the constitution through the role of both the representatives and shura councils. His Majesty then discussed with the delegation recent regional and international developments and topics of mutual interest. He wished the Moroccan delegation success during their visit and in exploring Bahrain's parliamentary achievements. The Speaker of Morocco's Parliament expressed thanks and appreciation of His Majesty's keenness to boost cooperation between the two countries in all fields, especially in the parliamentary sector. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, met today with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, at Gudabia Palace. Their Royal Highnesses commended the royal directives of His Majesty the King to meet the aspirations of the people, affirming that these directives will be implemented to improve government services. They reviewed the current economic situation and challenges, as well as the government's plans to deal with them. They also discussed the status of ongoing projects and confirmed the government's commitment to provide without delay the best quality health, therapeutic, housing and educational services. The meeting also reviewed other issues related to the national economy and ways of doubling efforts to enhance market competitiveness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Gudabir Palace today the Shura Council Speaker Ali Al Saleh, several members of the representatives and Shura Councils and senior state officials in the presence of the former Representatives Council Speaker Khalifa Al Dahrani. The Prime Minister affirmed that MPs are partners as well as monitors of the government, which is keen to ensure that they successfully fulfil their national role in order to contribute to the development of national democratic life. He highlighted the importance of enhancing cooperation between the government and parliament and of unifying efforts to meet the needs and demands of the people. He urged caution when dealing with economic development, saying that each party of the economic system must bear their responsibility in driving development and in facing all the challenges imposed by the global economic status. His Royal Highness stressed the necessity of unifying efforts to support commercial and economic progress and affirmed the government's concern to provide the necessary facilities for attracting investment and facilitating the work of businessmen. The audience expressed appreciation and gratitude for His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's role in consolidating government parliamentary cooperation, commending the attention paid to the economic sector in order to achieve sustainable development. They said that meeting with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister kept the channels of communication open for discussing national issues.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. Following the meeting, the Cabinet Secretary General made a statement outlining the issues discussed during the meeting. In implementing the Royal Directives, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister ordered intensified visits to villages, greater follow-up on the needs of their residents and more inspection of their service projects. The Prime Minister welcomed the newly appointed Minister of Shura and Representatives Council's Affairs, Ghanem al Bouanain, and the Minister of Information Affairs, Ali al Ramehi, for the royal trust in them, wishing them success in performing their duties. In accordance with the principles of accountability and responsibility, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister assigned the Executive Committee, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, to investigate three issues, namely the delay in implementing the King Hamid University Hospital Programme, the delay to the waste recycling project and the delay in executing a number of telecoms infrastructure projects. The Prime Minister directed the Housing Ministry to carry out a feasibility study for a housing project to serve the Halat al Abd al Salah village and surrounding areas and to allocate a suitable piece of land for the project. The Cabinet meeting discussed a number of legislations and regulations aimed at developing the investment environment and ensuring a liberal economic atmosphere that were presented by the Executive Committee chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. Accordingly, the Cabinet approved a draft resolution regarding regulations of investment in state-owned lands and companies and two draft laws to issue a competitiveness encouragement and protection law and a personal data protection law. After that, the Cabinet discussed memoranda and issues listed on the agenda. The Cabinet took note of a report presented by the Minister of Labour and Social Development on the results of four specialised exhibitions held by the Ministry in 2015 to present job opportunities for Bahrainis in the private sector. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the doubling of efforts to provide new job opportunities for citizens that suit their professional level and academic qualifications. The Cabinet approved restructuring the administrative and technical staff of the Future Generations Reserves Council. It also approved a draft law to accredit an agreement between Bahrain and Russia to transfer those convicted of crimes and sentenced to a jail term. The meeting also approved a memorandum of understanding between the government of Bahrain and the government of France regarding the goals and mission of Alliance Française Institute in Bahrain. The Cabinet approved the government's response to two proposals presented by the Representatives Council, one regarding the demolition and reconstruction of the Zain al Abidin and al Ali mosques in Manama, and the other on simplifying the procedures followed by citizens at government ministries and institutions. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received today at Gudabir Palace the Speaker of Morocco's Parliament, Rashid al Talibi al Alami, and his accompanying delegation in the presence of the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed al Mullah. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to develop parliamentary cooperation with brotherly and friendly countries so as to enhance development achievements aimed at maintaining the unity of Arab countries and their people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister said that cohesion between Arab countries is vital to maintaining their power to resist all threats to their security and stability. He explained that current security and economic challenges require greater cooperation and coordination between Arab countries in the best interests of the Arab countries' people. He stressed the Kingdom's support of any initiative to boost cohesion between Arab countries. His Royal Highness hailed Morocco's support of Bahrain regarding all measures taken to maintain the Kingdom's security and stability. He also noted the strong brotherly ties and excellent cooperation and cooperation between the Kingdom and Morocco in many fields. For his part, the Moroccan Speaker hailed His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's keenness to enhance relations between Arab countries in order to maintain the Arab nation's stability. He also affirmed Morocco's support of the Kingdom and its firm rejection of any interference in the Kingdom's domestic affairs. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, also received today at Gudabir Palace a parliamentary delegation from Indonesia, led by the chairman of the Bahraini Indonesian Friendship Group, Asit Masul. 
His Royal Highness welcomed the delegation, praising bilateral ties and discussing ways of enhancing cooperation and coordination in various fields. He affirmed Bahrain's keenness to strengthen cooperation with Indonesia, highlighting the economic and political position of Indonesia and its role in supporting Arab and Islamic issues at regional and international levels. His Royal Highness stressed the importance of strengthening parliamentary cooperation between the two countries and the need for more investment and commercial trade. The Indonesian parliamentary delegation praised His Royal Highness's keenness to enhance bilateral cooperation, highlighting the strong ties between the two countries. They hoped for more progress and prosperity between the two countries, especially in parliamentary cooperation. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Chairman of the Economic Development Board, Prince Amman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended last night's awards ceremony for the second annual Bahrain Awards for Entrepreneurship, celebrating the achievements of Bahrain's entrepreneurs. His Royal Highness highlighted that innovation and creativity are vital components of boosting employment opportunities for all Bahrain, saying the government's efforts to facilitate entrepreneurship underlines Bahrain's firm commitment to promoting the foundations of hope and opportunity for all. He stressed that Bahrain had identified economic diversification as a key driver of growth and employment opportunities over a decade ago. This recognition laid the groundwork for a new phase of economic reforms that prioritised the role of the private sector in driving economic growth and providing entrepreneurial opportunities. The Crown Prince added that Bahrain recognises that its economic and fiscal reforms must continue to progress at a swift pace in order to continue to provide an economic environment that fosters opportunities and enables sustainable growth. The chairman of Tamkeen, Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, noted that the Bahrain Award for Entrepreneurship highlights the kingdom's achievements in fostering entrepreneurial opportunities. He said the award winners would benefit from a range of development and funding programmes, business coaching schemes, office space and growth plans. He explained that the award is in line with the efforts of Tam Keen and its partners to foster a business environment within Bahrain that is beneficial to entrepreneurs and SMEs. This year's winners are Alia Al Moid Nutrition Consultancy Micro Enterprise of the Year, Khalifa Al Manai of Manai Technological Facilitations Startup of the Year, Dr Lamia's Lazel Dental Center SME of the Year, Mohamed Rafi of Midal Cables Enterprise of the Year with International Footprint, Hala Al Moid of Al Moid Contracting Group Sustainable Business Award, Ahmed Mansour Al Ali Group Lifetime Achievement Award and Dr. Sara Al-Rifi of London Breast Care Centre, Female Entrepreneur of the Year.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Hamam bin Hamad Al Khalifa received today at Gudabia Palace the Speaker of Morocco's Parliament, Rashid Al Talibi Al Alami, in the presence of the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah. His Royal Highness welcomed the Moroccan delegation and hailed the brotherly consolidated ties between the Kingdom and Morocco in various fields. He also affirmed the importance of enhancing parliamentary cooperation between the two countries and highlighted the major role played by the legislative authority in the Kingdom's democratic march. His Royal Highness affirmed the Kingdom's keenness to achieve political and economic reform through His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's reform project. He also highlighted the Kingdom's keenness to achieve a brighter future through investing in Bahraini citizens. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince explained that the Bahrain Award for Entrepreneurship is a unique model of the Kingdom's keenness to encourage innovation and creativity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince noted the efforts of Morocco in fighting extremism and hailed the role of Arab parliaments in unifying their approach to the current challenges facing the region, in particular in combating terrorism. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince asked Mr Al Alami to convey his greetings to the Moroccan King Mohammed VI and his government and his best wishes of safety and security to Morocco. For his part, Mr, Mr Al Alami expressed his best wishes of further progress and prosperity to the kingdom and expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his warm welcome. He also noted the outstanding relations between Bahrain and Morocco and the future results of the visit. The BDF Commander-in-Chief, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, received today in his office at the BDF headquarters the Speaker of Morocco's Parliament, Rashid Al Talibi Al Alami, and his accompanying delegation in the presence of the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Al Mullah, and a member of the Representatives Council, Abdurrahman Bou Ali. During the meeting, the BDF Commander-in-Chief hailed the deep historic and wide-ranging ties between Bahrain and Morocco, Topics of mutual concern were discussed during the meeting and the two sides exchanged commemorative gifts. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed Al Mullah, held official talks with his Moroccan counterpart, Rashid Al Talibi Al Alami, and a delegation of Moroccan MPs who are currently on an official visit to Bahrain. The talks covered joint cooperation and the deep rooted relations between the two countries. Mr Al Muller cited the level of bilateral ties, asserting the significance of boosting parliamentary cooperation and coordination and benefiting from each other's expertise in parliamentary and legislative work. He affirmed keenness to activate the role of joint friendship committees in the areas of political, parliamentary and economic development to safeguard the two countries' security and stability. The Moroccan speaker, for his part, praised the solid historic fraternal bonds between the leaderships, governments and peoples of the two countries. He said his visit aimed to explore and bolster the positive and fruitful mutual cooperation between the two countries. Mr Al Alami reiterated his country's firm support of Bahrain, praising the ongoing democratic reforms and socio-economic and political advancement of both countries, which enable them to overcome the obstacles and challenges of extremism and terrorism, thanks to the leadership of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Mohammed VI Ibn Al Hassan of Morocco. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, took part in the fifth extraordinary session of the Organization of the Islamic Conference, the OIC, on the State of Palestine and Al Quds, which is being held in Jakarta, Indonesia, under the theme United for a Just Solution. Sheikh Khalid affirmed that the State of Palestine has all the elements of a state, of a government and people, as well as well-defined land, despite attempts to distort the facts. He noted that what is happening in Al-Quds, from drilling operations to the displacement of the Palestinians from their homes, was sufficient to demonstrate the measures taken by the Israeli occupation authorities in their bid to empty Al-Quds of the Palestinian people. He reiterated Bahrain's deep concern over the critical situation in the occupied Palestinian territories as a result of the long-standing Israeli military occupation and illegal practices. He stressed the special sanctity of Al-Quds to the followers of the three monotheistic religions and its great significance for all Muslims, calling on the international community to assume its responsibilities towards the issue of Palestine. A declaration issued by the Fifth Extraordinary Islamic Summit 
stress the importance of the issue of the State of Palestine as the central cause of the organization of Islamic cooperation and an end to the Israeli occupation of the Arab and Palestinian territories occupied since 1967, including Al-Quds, which is a constant demand of the Islamic nation. The summit supported holding an international peace conference to end the Israeli occupation as a key step toward ending the Israeli occupation. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Brotherly Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Adil Al Jaber. The meeting came on the sidelines of the fifth extraordinary session of the Organization of the Islamic Conference, the OIC, recently held in the Indonesian capital Jakarta to discuss the Palestinian state and the holy city of Jerusalem. The meeting reviewed the strong historic bilateral relations between the two brotherly countries and peoples, as well as the issue tabled for discussion on the agenda of the 138th session of the GCC Ministerial Council to be held on March the 9th. They also discussed the issues listed on the agenda of the 145th ministerial level ordinary session of the Arab League scheduled for March the 10th and exchanged views on the mechanisms and procedures resulting from the GCC classification of Hezbollah as a terrorist organization. The meeting also touched on Iranian interference in the internal affairs of Arab countries and how to stop such meddling as well as issues of common concern. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed also met with his Egyptian counterpart, Sameh Shukri, and reviewed the strong bilateral ties between the two brotherly countries and issues on the agenda of the 145th ministerial level ordinary session of the Arab League, scheduled for Thursday.